Talking about lost and found, some absolutely crazy news development so far. Um, Andrew Tate and his brother have finally been charged. You know, for the longest time, they weren't being charged and they're being held with no real um, idea on when they're going to get free anytime soon. They weren't. They was. No, there was no charges against them. The Romanian officials or the Romanian, you know, court system just kept prolonging and adding more dates um, onto the time that they were being in prison for because they wanted to do more investigations. And then eventually, the Tate brothers ended up um, getting out of prison and being on house arrest um, whilst the investigation was still rumbling on, which is a bit of a strange way to kind of approach it. But you know, every country's got their way of doing stuff. But essentially, they have their suspicions. They didn't make the charges yet, or didn't have all the evidence that they needed, and then they kind of had these guys um you know sitting down basically fearing for their lives whilst they kind of put the case together the last few bits it's a bit strange it doesn't really usually happen that way in most countries usually they kind of you know once they arrest you they've already got the case kind of you know sealed and ready to go to the courts essentially but it doesn't work out in romania but a lot of people myself included have been thinking where the smoke, there's fire with the Andrew Tate guys, right? Or and his brother, Tristan. Um, there might be some truth to what they're saying because it seems like the Romanian government are really going at them really hard and aggressive. But then you sit down and you listen to Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate talk. Um, you hear corroborating stories from other people in and around them. And you come to the, way the conclusion that most likely this Andrew Tate guy is a bit of a douchebag, so is his brother. But are they actually capable of the crimes that they've been accused of? Are they as monstrous as the press is trying to paint them out as to be? I'm just not too sure. Yes, would it be, if you're a parent, would you be super happy with your kid listening to the rhetoric that's coming out of these guys? Maybe, maybe not, I'm not too sure. There's plenty of other bad influences out there outside of people like this anyway, especially in the mainstream media. Let's not even try and fake that. So I understand people's reservations towards them, but it's just more so along the lines of, do I sit here and say that I could believe them being part um, of a human trafficking ring organization in terms of organized crime and being involved in raping people and stuff? I'm not really too sure. Um, a part of me thinks they couldn't be that idiotic to run those type of schemes or that type of play, knowing how visible they are. Andrew Tate's always saying he's the most Googled man in the world. If that's true, you surely have to be a bit smarter than that to kind of be the person also, you know, arranging a transport of people coming from countries where they're entering in illegally, all this sort of stuff. It just doesn't make any sense, really. That's the only part of it that I'm a little bit dubious about. But I guess with the charges now being placed, it's now becoming a little bit clearer as to what the Romanian government think they're guilty of. And now I guess it's a case of just taking to trial and seeing what I've won. But if the Romanian government been able to treat them the way they've been treating them so far, they don't really have much chance, do they, really, in the flipping courts, you'd think, um, the Tates. Um, maybe they could have, maybe there's a possibility that they can, you know, expose the truth in the courts because they can get to present their own evidence. But considering how hard they're going at them, it's not really, it doesn't feel like they're trying to scare them away from Romania. It feels like they're trying to lock them up to send a clear message to their populace. So let's see what happens. But the article says as follows. Um, controversial influencer Andrew Tate has been charged in Romania with rape, human trafficking and forming an organized crime group um, to sexually exploit women. Um, his brother, I wonder why that's different from human trafficking. Oh, I guess because they're sexually exploiting, isn't it, really? Anyway, well, let me continue. His brother Tristan and two associates also face charges and have all denied the allegations. The Tate brothers were first arrested in at their Bucharest home in December. In March, they were moved to custody and house arrest following a ruling by the Romanian judge. The indictment deposited um, uh, with the with the Bucharest court says that the four defendants formed an organized crime group in 2021 to commit human trafficking in Romania, but also in other countries, including the US and UK. God damn, world tour. It names seven of those victims who say that they were recruited by the Tate brothers through false promises of love and marriage. So there's seven alleged victims. I know Tristan's arguing that they don't exist and that these are psyops, but let's see what happens when it goes to court the alleged victims were later taken to buildings in a place called Ilfov County in Romania where they were intimidated placed under the constant surveillance and control and forced into debt according to a statement from Romanian prosecutors the defendants allegedly then forced the women to take part in pornography which was later shared on social media one defendant is accused of raping a woman twice in March 2022 the statement or, or adds the trial will not start immediately and is expected to take several years. A Romanian judge now has 60 days to inspect the case 
um, before he can be sent to trial. The media team for the Tate brothers says, while this news is undoubtedly predictable, we embrace the opportunity to present or to demonstrate their innocence and vindicate the reputation. It added that the indictment also allows us to present a comprehensive body of evidence diligently collected and prepared over time, which will undoubtedly substantiate the brothers' claims of innocence. There's also separate charges still being under investigation, which should could lead to a separate indictment um including money laundering and trafficking of minors so they could get found not guilty of those other charges and then get hit with the other ones straight as they walk out like boozy did when he got picked up um after his one case got dismissed and the other one didn't he went on to gain notoriety online for twitter from banning people from saying women should be bear some responsibility for being sexually assaulted he has since been reinstated despite social media bans hold on what did he do let's read that again what did he do to get removed he went on to go he went on to get notoriety online. His fight with banning world, so he ended up banging his head on the floor. Um, let's see again. Buh, 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 buh. Despite social media bans, he gained popularity, particularly among young men, uh, by promoting what he presents as a hyper masculine, ultra luxurious lifestyle. Um, so, yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see how this kind of plays out. No one really knows the truth for this issue, really, until maybe it goes to court. And even in court, there is no kind of, you know, there is no seeking of the truth, really, in some respects. You know, you've got two opposing counsels trying to prove each other wrong. But I wonder if they're charged now, if that means they're still in house arrest. Or does it change and they've now got to get put in jail or prison because there might be a flight risk? I don't really know, to be fair. But, um, you know, let's see what happens and let's see this play.